Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this smaller circle that is inscribed inside this quadrant circle, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the radius of this smaller circle is square root of 2 along with the point of tangency as D, E, and F. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. The radius of this inscribed circle, the smallest one, the radius is this one I'm going to call lowercase r. And we know that this radius equal to square root of isn't it? And the radius of this quadrant circle, this bigger one, this is this circle, this one, the radius is uppercase R on this side, and this side, this is uppercase R. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and divide this quadrant circle into three shaded region, green, blue, and yellow to make things simple. As you can see in this diagram, and as we can see that this quarter of a circle, or sometimes we call it quadrant circle area equal to green shaded area plus this blue shaded area and plus this yellow area. And now let's focus on these two green areas, this one on the top and this one on the bottom. They have the same area according to this uh, symmetric property. So let me go ahead and represent this green area, the top one, by x. Then this area is also going to be x. And then I'm going to represent this blue area, this inscribed circle I'm going to call this blue area as y, and this yellow area I am going to represent it by z. So thus the quadrant circle area, this total area is going to be this x plus x plus y plus z. So x plus x is going to make 2x plus y plus z. And now let's focus on this quarter of a circle. The quadrant circle, we know that the area of this circle is pi r square. Since we are dealing with the quarter of a circle, so I am going to divide this one by 4. So this quadrant circle area is going to be simply pi r square, where r is uppercase, divided by 4 equals to 2x plus y plus z. And I am going to call this as an equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and construct this square OEBF by just simply connecting O with F and likewise O with this point E, as you can see in this diagram, and moreover, we can see that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent according to tangent to a circle theorem. In other words, this radius is perpendicular to this uh, tangent line, and this radius is perpendicular to this another tangent line. And here's the tangent to a circle theorem, the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. And now let's go ahead and connect this point O and this point B. Let's go ahead and connect this O and B. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this square OEBF. We know that this radius, this uh, radius of this uh, inscribed circle is given to us, which is square root of 
2 and likewise this is given to us as a square root of 2 since this is also the radius and here's the definition of a square all sides have equal lengths and every interior angle is a right angle so that means if this side is square root of 2 then this opposite side is going to be square root of 2 as well and likewise this side is going to be square root of 2 that means all these sides are same and now let's focus on this triangle O E B and since this is a right triangle so we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our this triangle O E B the longest leg O B I'm gonna call this leg C and this horizontal side I'm gonna call A and this vertical side as B and here's our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is square root of 2 b is square root of 2 as well and we are going to find the value of c let's go ahead and just fill in the blanks so that's going to become square root of 2 and then square likewise square root of 2 and then square equal to c square now this is going to give us 2 plus 2 equal to c square so that means c square equal to 4 let's take the square root on both side to undo the square so thus our c value turns out to be 2 and we know that c is simply ob so that means our ob line segment is two units and now we are going to connect point O and D these two points really carefully and so that we could have this BD equal to uppercase R the radius of this uh, bigger quadrant circle and here's our much nicer looking diagram so we can see that the radius of this quadrant circle which is BD is uppercase R that means this whole this length is the radius of this quadrant circle and we call it uppercase R we know that this length is OB is 2 and we know that O D is just the radius of this inscribed circle this blue circle which is simply square root of 2 so the length of this B D is going to be a square root of 2 and then plus this 2 so that means this uppercase R is going to be simply 2 plus square root of 2 as the radius of this quadrant circle now in this step let's go ahead and focus on the area of this blue circle and we know that the area of the blue is y so I can write down y equal to the area of this blue circle formula is a equal to pi r square where in our case this lowercase r is simply square root of 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this area is going to be pi time r in our case is square root of 2 and then square it okay so far so good so y equal to this square and square root they are gone so that is going to be simply y equal to 2 pi and in this next step we are going to focus on this area of yellow region and we know that the yellow area is represented by z so therefore this yellow region area I'm going to say z equal to the area of this square o e b f minus this the blue quadrant o e f that means this quadrant we are talking about this one 
over here. And here's the formula for area of this square OEBF. That means S square, where S represents the side of this uh, square, which is square root of 2. So that is simply is going to become square root of 2 and then square. That means square of the side. And then minus the blue quadrant EOF that has been shaded as you can see over here. The area of this blue circle is pi r square. And since we are talking about the quarter of a circle, so I'm going to divide it by 4. So this is simply is going to become pi r square divided by 4. And in our case, r is simply square root of 2, the radius. So I can write pi time r in our case is square root of 2 and then square divided by 4. Now let's go ahead and simplify square and square root. They undo each other. We got 2 minus and here once again this square and square root undo each other. We got minus 2 pi over 4 or if we can reduce it, that is z is going to be simply 2 minus pi over 2. And here's our final step. So our equation number 1 becomes, let's recall this our equation number 1, pi r squared divided by 4 equal to 2x plus y plus z, where uppercase r is 2 plus square root of 2, and our x value, we are going to find the x value. We don't know that one. And our y value is 2 pi, and our z value is 2 minus pi over 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So over here, I can write pi times r, in our case, is 2 plus square root of 2, and then square divided by 4 equal to 2x plus y in our case is 2 pi and then plus z is 2 minus pi over 2. And now let's focus on this part on the top 2 plus square root of 2 and then square. I have just copied it down over here and this could be written as 2 plus square root of 2 twice and let's go ahead and use the this file method so we are going to do double distribution 2 times 2 is going to give us 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 and then plus this is going to become 2 square root of 2 and then this is going to be plus square root of 2 times square root of 2 and we know that this square root of 2 times square root of 2 is simply 2. So we got 4 plus these are like terms 2 square root of 2 and this 2 square root of 2 is going to give us 4 square root of 2 plus this is 2. That could be combined as 6 plus 4 square root of 2. So the left hand side could be written as pi times this whole thing is 6 plus 4 square root of 2 divided by 4 equal to 2x plus 2 pi plus 2 minus pi over 2. And now since we can see that we have a 4 in the denominator and 2 is in the denominator, so we know that the least common denominator or least common multiple is going to be 4. Therefore, I'm going to multiply by 4 across the board with each and every term. So this is going to become this 4 and 4 is gone. So we got pi times 6 plus 4 square root of 2 equal to this become 8x plus 8 pi plus 8 minus 2 pi and we can see we have no longer fractions. Now let's go ahead and distribute this one so that is going to become 6 
pi plus 4 times square root of 2 times pi and let's simplify on the right hand side we got 8x and then 8 pi minus 2 pi is going to become plus 6 pi plus 8 and we can see that this 6 pi and this 6 pi they are gone now we can see that if we we got rid of these 6 pi so we got 4 times square root of 2 pi equal to 8x plus 8 or I can isolate this 8x and I got this one so I'm going to divide both side by 8 across the board so that means our this 8 and 8 is gone so we got x equal to this simply is going to give us square root of 2 pi divided by 2 and this is minus 1 so thus our x value turns out to be square root of 2 pi divided by 2 minus 1 so thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be square root of 2 pi divided by 2 minus 1 and if we replace square root of 2 approximately equal to 1.4142 and pi equal to 3.14 over here then x is approximately equal to 1.22 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye